always known for playing for both sides. Uh, yeah. Well, to be fair, the, there's so much goes on nowadays that you do lose a little bit of a sort of connection with the, the game because, you know, so many players coming in, different players from all over the world, really. So, to a certain extent, at my age, you know, you don't, <laughs> you can't remember some of them. But, uh, yeah, I, I keep fairly up to it. It is a, it's a real League of Nations now, isn't it, in there? It's Absolutely. so different from when you were playing. Well, if you, if you go back to, uh, you know, the time when I was fairly young, Italy was the same in, in a way, you know, where they had, you know, more or less the strikers in Italy were all foreign players. So it was just, it was a bit like that. But of course, as years went on, we then went throughout the whole world. I mean, they're coming from Australia, America, Argentina, wherever. So this really is a, the league here is a real international league. Now you signed from Torino for a record at that time and Manchester City keep spending big money on players as well. <laughs> what, what do you think about the wealth that they've suddenly got? They've just come from nowhere with this wealth. Is it good for the city or is it, is it a bit dirty? Well, if, if you're a fan of either Manchester City or Manchester United, to see some of these players come into the, the, the city and into the teams, yeah, it, it really for the fan, it really must be good. Do you welcome this resurgence then of them going neck for neck for the championship again? Well, I think that really is. Uh, probably this derby is is an important one as it's ever been uh, for both teams. If United win, they then go something like eight points ahead and, you know, that would be a big gap. Now, if City win, then it's down to two. So it's the old cliche, you know, it's a six-point game, isn't it? So... Uh, probably one of the most important derbies for a long time. Inevitably, whenever we talk to you about the derby, Dennis has done it, that goal will get dragged up. You must be sick of seeing that goal. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> so if that, is, that your, is that your least favourite derby memory, that? Uh, next question. <laughs> <laughs> if that's your least favourite, what's your favourite derby memory from playing? I think all, all the uh, derby games were the, something special. There was always something that, uh, you know... For the fans and whatnot, I always hoped that uh, it was a draw. Then both sets of fans would be happy. You know, it wasn't the end of the world because I had friends who were Manchester City supporters, obviously friends at United. So I didn't want them. So I always, I always hoped that we would draw. Dennis, you're known as a nice guy, but you're not nice <laughs> enough to not want to win. <laughs> we always want to win. Yeah. And do you, do you have any particular memories of it, of any sort of feisty encounters that you're involved with? Uh, I suppose going back to Malcolm Allison's time, that, that era, you know, when City were coming back into the top, which they did do, of course, that, 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 uh, that particular time, the derby games were really, really tense. 